We are whipping up some lo mein and spaghetti and marinara sauce, but there's no pasta here. Not today, carbs. This yummy and delicious recipe coming up next. Girl, today we are making spaghetti, but no, it's not the pasta. This is spaghetti squash. Well, we've all been there. You get home from work and you just don't feel like cooking. Spaghetti squash, super simple, super easy, and super delicious. If you like spaghetti and marinara sauce, you really can't beat this. All you need, two ingredients, your spaghetti squash and some sauce. Now, of course, we all like to make our own tomato sauce, but if you don't feel like it, you're feeling a little lazy, any store-bought sauce will work for this. First step, you're gonna cut your squash right down the middle lengthwise. And sometimes it's tough to cut through. If that's the case, you can microwave it for just two minutes or so, and that'll make it a little bit softer. But if you microwave it, make sure you put holes in it so it doesn't explode on you. So now you just wanna scoop out the middle. There's gonna be some seeds in there. Scoop it right out with a spoon. You wanna get all those guts out of there. They don't cook very nicely. Grease your pan, I do just a few sprays of no calorie butter spray. Put your two halves on here. Yeah, I'm gonna do a couple sprays of the butter. And here, you know, you can do whatever you want, butter, margarine, and oil, or nothing at all. I'm gonna season it with some salt and pepper. And again, I did salt, pepper, and a little garlic powder. Preheat your oven to 350, and you're gonna put your spaghetti squash in there. Set your timer for 45 minutes. And now we wait. Put your oven on low, put in a cup of sauce. We're just gonna let it simmer for a couple minutes so it gets nice and hot. Perfect. Just let it cool for a couple minutes. Once it cools, you're literally gonna just take your fork and just like spaghetti, you're gonna just dig it through like this. And you can already see those nice strands forming Looks a lot like spaghetti. So just keep digging through it all. And you're just gonna go all the way down to the bottom until there's no more squash left. So here's the spaghetti squash. I just put a little salt and pepper on it. And again, spaghetti squash is a really nice buttery taste all on its own, so you could eat it just like this. But today, we're doing Italian, so let's go check on our sauce. So it depends how many people you're feeding here. I put a cup of sauce in here, so it's just for me. Put a little bit on. Pour it right on there. Just gonna sprinkle a little bit of garlic powder because I love garlic. Give it a nice little mix up. And look at that, nice strands we have. A nice little twirl. Mom would like that. It's good. So let's take it back to the beginning. All this is spaghetti squash and marinara sauce. Well, the Italian is done onto Asian fusion because now we're making lo mein. I love lo mein, but lo mein has a lot of calories and a lot of fat. So today, spaghetti squash lo mein. All you need, vegetables and some soy sauce. Of course, fresh vegetables are better, but again, you're feeling lazy, you just got home from work. Bad vegetables will also do the trick. Here we just have some broccoli, carrots, and cauliflower. And again, any vegetables you want will work for this. Okay, so we're gonna make a little stir fry here. So just take your squash and put it right on a little pan. Just gonna pour it all right in there. Perfect. Put your veggies right on top there. And you can put as many veggies as you want in because veggies are good for you. I'm gonna put the oven on medium. We're gonna do three tablespoons of soy sauce. I'm gonna add some garlic powder because I love garlic salt and pepper. And I like spicy, so I'm gonna add a little cayenne pepper. Crushed red pepper flakes would also work just as good. A little spice. You can already see it's bubbling, so just give it a little stir here. You're just gonna do that for a couple minutes until it's exactly how you want it. I recommend a little taste test, and it will taste like lo mein. Put in our bowl. And look at this, we got some Asian style lo mein. It looks like lo mein from the Chinese restaurant, but does it taste like it? 
Mm-hmm. Healthy and delicious. That's Spaghetti Squash. I'm TV Fit Girl. And remember, fitness starts in the kitchen. Like, comment, and subscribe.